Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video about my vacation to France and Spain. Normally, this channel would only consist of videos of RuneScape, but hey, I thought I would make a fun video of everything that I've seen in France and Spain. It was three and a half weeks-ish of pure hiking, going by car, looking for stuff, um, visiting nice places, searching for cool animals. Um, the photos will be in an order of time. Uh, so the photos shown first will be in the beginning of my vacation and we will work towards the end of the vacation. Um, so the photos do not have like a specific order of uh, well, these are plants and now we are going to the two animals. They're just in a random order, uh, basically. So uh, let's get started. Um, at the very first beginning of my vacation I went to Fontainebleau, which is a little bit south east of Paris in France. And uh, to say the least, it was not the best for searching animals. However, I did find some slow worms. Um, I didn't take any pictures of them because um, I have seen them many, many times already. So I just walk, walked further. Um, thing that I did make pictures of were was this toadstool. It, it just it just gave a nice scene uh, of what was around me. Um, on my way towards several other places around Fontainebleau, I found this animal. Um, I'm really bad with mammals, but I'm pretty sure this is just a common common deer. Um, it was really shy, which is something I'm not really used to here in the Netherlands. If you find animals like this, they almost go up to you and ask for food. This one was extremely shy, so it was actually really nice to see. That's how they're supposed to be. But of course, if they're shy, you cannot get like the best picture ever. But oh well, pretty nice. Um, so in my second campsite, which was in Trygnac which is a little bit further south. Um, I was really bored. It was about 10 degrees Celsius during the day. And it was raining. So I I was kind of... Yeah, let's let's say not really enjoying myself too much. Um, but then this little bugger came along. It was like 3 millimeter big bug or something. I, I didn't even know. But And uh, I took my camera out and started making photos. And I actually made a pretty decent photo of it. I was actually pretty surprised how it looks up close. And... If it would just walk around, you wouldn't even notice it. But on the on the photo, pretty decent, pretty pretty nice. Um, so already going to the third campsite, which was uh, at the campsite La Rocha in the city called Buitia or something. I don't even know how it's called. It's it's just on the border of the Pyrenees in South France, and that campsite was absolutely packed with birds. Um, this bird in particular was trying to get those little red fruits out of the tree. And it was just busy like an hour long for to get one off. It was actually hilarious to watch. Very nice creatures. Um, I think I've spotted around 13 different species of birds uh, on that campsite. And and if you just sit down with your camera in your hand and you let things go uh, and you let things get close, uh, you can actually make really nice pictures. I did do some hiking there as well. Uh, I didn't really find many animals apart from these. Um, tadpoles in the stream. I have no idea what which kind, which kind it is, but it's still pretty nice to to find activity um, of animals, um, even if you don't find like the adult versions. Um, these moths, um, I it was very difficult to get them on a picture while they were flying, but you can see it on on the bottom part. It's it's full red. Well, if they fly around, they are full red. It's a really nice creature. Um, yeah, t taken at night while I was doing a little hike at night. So more birds on the campsite. Um, a lot of birds, people probably do know them and they see them in a flash. Uh, but it's actually really nice to be able to make a picture up close. So you can see the full details of how the animals actually look like. Um, and the, 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 the common birds. But then they get very close and you can make a really nice picture. So... Um, later that day, I was still sitting in my chair drinking a beer. Uh, suddenly, a spider jumps on jumps on me. It's 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 a jumping spider. I'm not entirely sure what the English name is, but 100% translated from Dutch to English, it's jumping spider. Um, and I was able to make some nice micro photos of them, um, of him actually. Put a piece of bark on my table, and I got my camera, and I started making pictures and. This creature looks absolutely amazing. Um, it looks way, way more scary than, than it actually is. I mean, this thing is smaller than, than a centimeter. Doesn't really look it like that, but 
it looks very very cool and it's pretty much harmless as far as i'm aware i think i think i have not been at a place where i did not see a common wall lizard um these common wall lizards are so extremely common i mean if you want to see them in the in the netherlands there are only three spots but if you want to see them in France, the only thing you have to do is open your eyes practically. They are literally everywhere. It's it's nice to see though. Um it really shows a, a healthy healthy uh habitat for, for a lot of creatures if they are if they are around, so that's nice. Um More birds. More songbirds. Uh these were actually really small, it took me a very long time to get a nice picture of it, but I did succeed, so I was happy with that. And this was a new species for me, the large Passodromus. Um Super, super fast. It was actually really big from from snout to tail, I think like 35, 40 centimeters or something. It's actually really, really large. The moment I try to get closer than, I'm, than I was right now, it ran away. Well, it was actually sort of teleported, I think. I didn't even see where it went. It was so extremely fast, you have no idea. But it was very nice to see, nonetheless. Um... Yeah, and I make pictures of everything that I see around me. This this thing was actually really big. Um, I have no idea what it is. It was pretty scary though. But I did make a picture. Um, so this was the place where where I walked up to. I I I did a little hike up up to the mountain. It was like an hour hour walk, like straight up. It was actually a pretty difficult walk, but luckily only one hour. The mountain you're seeing in the back is the 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 Kaniku, whatever it's called. Uh, it's one famous mountain for for people who like to do long hikes. It's like an hour an hour trip. Hello, it's like a day trip to get up there and go down again. And um, I didn't do that because I'm not that fit, and I'd rather just do a walk to search for animals instead of do an extremely tiring hike. Um, this was a sort of church-like thing on top of that mountain, which is the reason why that walk exists. I'm not that interested in those things, but I mean, hey, it's still a pretty cool thing to see. Um, in the middle of nowhere, actually. And on top of that church thing, there was this cave. It was actually really big. Um, and it gave a nice nice view over the valley. Um, actually really interesting to see. And those little black spots you see uh, are little swifts, little birds flying around. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, Egyptian filter, Dutch name Asgir. Really nice to see. They were, I'm not sure what they were doing. Uh, but they were um, flying around. Pretty cool to see. Um, another thing that I think is really interesting to see is if you go to the store in the Netherlands for plants or something, you can see plants like this and all made up nicely. And the moment you go to France or Spain or whatever warm country, you just see those plants standing there in their natural habitat and it looks so nice. You would actually just almost take it with you to your own house because it looks so so nice. Um, another large Pasodromus. Um, lots of butterflies everywhere, obviously. Um, always waiting for you to try to, to make a photo and then they fly away. They always like to troll me. They, that's that's just their job, I think. They, they just really, really like to troll me. Um, I think uh, this is a young Egyptian filter. I'm not entirely sure. It was a lot smaller. Um, although it's said in my book that uh, juveniles are really uncommon in, in Europe, but I will have to check later. Um, the photo has been cropped quite immensely as you can probably see um so the story of this owl it's 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 a dwarf eared owl i think that's the english name as well the story of this owl is actually pretty interesting i was at a campsite with the birds for about five nights i am um, i was there for five nights and every night there would be um a sound of an owl a very very simple sound uh, not really the screaming one or the, the 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 nice sound one or no it was just a simple po po and and it was just terrorizing everyone on the campsite because it was actually pretty loud and pretty annoying and the moment i started searching for it it didn't make the sound anymore so that was really annoying so it took me five evenings to actually spot it and as you can see the picture is kind of bad that's and that is because my flash did not work i was absolutely really mad at that but oh well there's nothing you can really do about it um, this is one other picture which I could make with the flash working, but as you can see, it's it, you know it's not looking at me. It's not a nice picture, but you know still, <laughs> this is how the picture would have looked 
if the flash did work, so it would have been a lot nicer. But oh well, I did see it. I was able to see it very nicely with a flashlight um, and, and, and with, with my uh, camera itself. I, I was able to see it really nicely. Afterwards, it flew away and I didn't see it anymore. Really nice Aldo. I've never seen this one before, so it was really cool to see a new species. Um, this butterfly was extremely common. You would al almost see it everywhere. Um, I did take a picture though, um, just as a nice species list. Uh, this one was noted as pretty special, and I'm not sure why, but it looks really nice. Um, I really like the green colors. Pretty cool animal. I'm not sure what the English name was again, um, but I was able to get a cool picture of it. Uh, I've only seen them once this entire vacation. I, I, I expected to see more of them, but oh well. More butterflies, pretty cool species. More butterflies. And now we have a lot of birds again. I was at a, This was at a mountain walk at Lauset, which is already in Spain. So we are now in Spain. Uh, it was a ma mountain walk towards a mountain lake, um, which was at an altitude of 2300 meters high. Uh, pretty high up. Pretty nice. Really nice place. Not too many people around. Uh, lots of birds. And uh, this was the place that was at. Um, I'm just going to let you enjoy the view a little bit now. But this place was absolutely ma magnificent. This was not the lake, by the way. This was the, the reservoir of Lauset. Um, I didn't even, I, I didn't really take a picture of the mountain lake because it was a lot less, mm, how do you say it? It was, it, it was a lot less interesting than this picture. So let's just keep it at this picture and this picture. This is, uh, by the way, exactly the same place, just from a little bit of a di different angle. Really nice place to be with the rock, with the Rocky Mountains, not the Rocky Mountains, which is the mountains in the back. We are not in Canada, Thomas. We are not in Canada. Um, lots of lots of uh, birds. It's really difficult to get a 100% clear shot of birds, which are rather far away, especially because um, they really like to move. Um, and with a lot of lens, like if you have use a big lens, you you really have to uh, do your best to make to make them really sharp. So it wasn't always that easy. Uh, this one is pretty cool though. This one is pretty sharp, really nice, and. Um, it gives a lot of opportunity to make a lot of photos of a lot of birds. There were actually a lot of birds around this place. I'm, I, I think like 30 birds were just flying around. Um, so, in this place as well, on my way back, I noticed several flowers. No, no, that's actually normal, no, normally what I do on my... Um, like on, on the first way, uh, I always look for animals, like anim uh, like birds and lizards and snakes and whatever. And on my way back, I start noticing more stuff, like flowers. Same same thing this time. Uh, this little orchid was um, just standing there, so I made a picture. Uh, more orchids. It's this was actually really small. This is also micro photo micro photography. Uh, I think the flower itself was around two or three millimeters or something. Um, on the picture itself, a little bit bigger. Same thing here. So during this walk, I had to walk through several areas where I don't think the path was actually a path anymore. Um, I think just the rock slides just just bolted over the path. It was actually pretty hard to walk over. It doesn't really look like it's that hard, but those rocks are actually rather big. It was a pretty pretty nice challenge to get over it. Pretty cool though. Um, this really shows that not many people go here. It's really nice. Lots and lots of different kinds of plants you would normally just not really pay any attention to. Um, but if you take a good look and have a nice observation, you can actually see how how beautiful a lot of plants actually are. So the question of the day today is, how many butterflies do we see in this picture? Give your comment down below. Um, so again, um, I, I spotted some birds who, which I've never ever seen before. Um, so what you get then is that they are really far away. You try to make a picture and... Um, the quality is not always the best, but it isn't fair. It's still a pretty decent picture, so that's why I'm putting them in here. Um, it's it's so nice to see different kind of species everywhere. It's really nice. So this little bugger was um, actually not really that of not really that afraid of me, as you can see. It, the, the 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 pixels are 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 very very nice. Um, they got up very very close. Really cool creature to see, and it didn't really fly away from me. So it was cool. More flowers, more birds, 
that are extremely big insects. I think this one was like three or four centimeters big. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks very, very cool. More birds. And this was the valley where I walked to that day. Um, it was so nice. It was, it was about a hike of an hour and a half towards this place. I think I got one more. Yeah, there we go. It was an, uh, about an hour and a half hike towards this place. And the moment you reach there, it's just like, wow. Uh, I think this was the Otloman, Otlo Valley. I always, I always forget the name. I'm really sorry. I should actually look it up before I make a video. But hey, I'm not really that much of a name person. I'd rather just show the place and be like, yo, this was so nice. You really want to know, let me know. Then I can let you know where this place was. Really nice place to be. The water right away was extremely cold. It was pretty warm. So I was like, hey, there's water. Let's, let's, let's dip my feet in. But about one minute in, my feet just started hurting because of the cold. I think it was actually just close to freezing it was really really cold i was actually supposed to try and find a salamander here uh the pyrenean brook salamander i unfortunately did not find it um so maybe better luck next time when i go again to a place like this um i did i never had luck with with the pyrenean brook salamander uh, during during this vacation but i guess that's part of the part of the game right more birds again the same bird okay so um I am going to end this video here. I will make a part two about the rest of the vacation. I, I, I kind of want to have two videos. So this is a little bit of a teaser for you. Um, I did make pictures during a, a lightning storm. Um, I would definitely recommend you to watch the second video as well later on. Especially since the second video contains more pictures of extremely nice animals. Um, so yeah, this was part one. Part two will be out shortly after as well. Take care, everyone.